Hi, I'm Dr. David Targan, and welcome to BioDigest. Imagine a revolutionary new treatment where once irreparable physical damage from disease or injury could be healed. Growing new heart muscle cells or cells to repair paralyzing spinal cord trauma are no longer considered to be science fiction. They are actually being tested and could be available to treat patients in the future. Therapies like these are part of a new paradigm of medical thinking called regenerative medicine. This breakthrough approach uses specially grown tissues and cells, including stem cells, in seeking to aid and amplify our natural healing processes. One company at the forefront of this exciting biotechnology research is Geron Corporation, located in Menlo Park, California. All of us in the biotech sector are trying to go beyond the current limits of today's therapies. So we try to use breakthrough science that can be translated into breakthrough products. On the stem cell side of our company, we are learning how to produce living cell therapies from human embryonic stem cells. This is a, an approach that goes well beyond pills and scalpels. Embryonic stem cell-based therapy is the most promising development in the last century of medicine because it goes beyond treating a symptom to actually regenerating, perhaps permanently, the tissue that's been damaged by the disease. There are two kinds of stem cells, adult and embryonic. The stem cell that we work with at Geron is an embryonic stem cell. It's derived from a very, very early stage embryo and it retains all the potential of forming new tissues that an embryo manifests as it develops. Embryonic stem cells are nature's master stem cell. It's what makes every cell type in the body. So the challenge for us is to learn how to invent the recipe that takes on one hand an embryonic stem cell and turns it into a liver cell. On another, take an embryonic stem cell and turn it into a heart muscle. And we've learned how to do that. So these are undifferentiated human embryonic stem cells. So these would be the starting material from which we'd make cells to treat spinal cord injury or cells to treat heart disease or diabetes. So this is essentially the raw material. These cells are essentially immortal. Unlike normal cells of your body, these cells will grow forever as long as we give them room to grow in nutrients and we can take advantage of that property then to expand them as much as we want. The obvious goal of an embryonic stem cell derived therapy is to make a purified population of a particular cell type. In order to do that, we have to understand how to steer the cells along that particular developmental pathway, which is something that the developing embryo is very, very good at. It will take a specific region of tissue and say, you're going to be a liver, you're going to be a heart. What we're trying to do is figure out what cues the embryo gives to these tissues that makes them form in this way. And we found a variety of growth factors and hormones that embryos produce that can act upon these cells and steer them in one way or another. We received permission from the FDA in January this year to start the world's first human embryonic stem cell human clinical trial. One of the first conditions we're trying to treat with the embryonic stem cells is spinal cord injury. There are 11,000 new spinal cord injured patients in America every year. Unfortunately, a lot of the, the type of patients we'd see would typically be young men who have had motorcycle accidents or diving board accidents or more and more, unfortunately, soldiers injured in Iraq. What happens when we have a car accident, a bike accident, an industrial accident, is we have a fracture of the bones that surround the spinal cord that kills the glial cells. The glial cells make insulation. They wrap every single axon with myelin, a protein that enables the nerve to conduct the impulse without short-circuiting and when you remove that insulation from the spinal cord, it's very analogous to removing the insulation from an electrical wire. You essentially short out the signal, so you can't transmit the neural impulses back and forth. What we learned how to do was to make glial cells from human embryonic stem cells. We then put those human cells into an animal model of spinal cord injury. What we saw in the injured site was incredible. Human cells that had filled the cavity of the lesion enabling transmission to be restored. It was the first real demonstration of what the promise of regenerative medicine is. These cells are the cells we're going to use in the spinal cord injury trial. 
So these cells started as undifferentiated cells, and then we used one of our processes to make them a cell that will go on, once it's transplanted, to go on and repair the damaged spinal cord. It'll essentially put new insulation back on the damaged nerve cord in that case. And they're not much to look at, obviously, under the microscope, but we're hoping that in people they have a very, very profound effect. We started out to try to make a myelinating cell, but one of the fruits of that accomplishment is to recognize that the glial cell is Mother Nature's nursemaid of the entire central nervous system. That suggests to us that the same cell we're now about to study in spinal cord injury will have application in stroke, in multiple sclerosis, and even in Alzheimer's. It's a single injection of cells thawed from the frozen shelf injected into your damaged organ that permanently restores its function. That's without precedent in medicine. As remarkable as this sounds, Geron's pioneering work in heart cell replacement therapy is also well on its way. These are cardiomyocytes. These are heart muscle cells that we've made from the embryonic stem cells. You can see them beating here. In fact, we have a lot of cells here which have joined together and formed a sheet of beating cells, much as you'd have in the heart. I remember very clearly the first time we actually got this process to work. The first time you look in a dish of cells and you see things beating, you feel your own heart beating simultaneously. It's a really strong feeling. The paradigm shift is going from treating a symptom to actually restoring the structure and function of the tissue damaged by the disease. That's the opportunity for embryonic stem cell based therapies. I hope I'm full of embryonic stem cell derived products when I'm 90. Regenerative medicine is changing the way we think about healthcare. The benefits that may be derived from these therapies are very exciting and the impact of this revolutionary technology may be one of biotech's greatest contributions to this century and beyond. For BioDigest, I'm Dr. David Targan.